From midnight tonight, viewers in the Scottish borders served by the Selkirk transmitter and its relays will experience TV outages for several hours, while the final switchover from analogue to digital broadcasting takes place in that area. Digital satellite and cable viewers will be unaffected. After the switch is complete, viewers in that area will need to retune any Freeview, BT Vision or top-up TV equipment. We're sorry for the interruption to services, but this work is a necessary part of the process of switching to digital transmission. Next on BBC One Wales, the true story of a man who built a record-breaking bike out of washing machine bits. No, really, but that's for digital viewers only, because we've come to the end of the line for analogue TV in Wales. To continue watching BBC One Wales, please switch to your digital service. This is BBC One Wales on analogue, and in just a moment, it's being turned off, along with all the remaining analogue channels, forever. This will complete digital switchover in Wales, making us the first digital TV nation in the UK. Tomorrow you will need to retune your digital equipment again to pick up additional channels. If you need more information, you can call Digital UK on 08456 50 50 50. Lines are open from 6am or you can visit digitaluk.co.uk. And that really is it for analogue television in Wales. Engineers are standing by to pull the plugs as we reach another Welsh broadcasting landmark. Please switch to your digital service to continue watching BBC One Wales. 
but from everyone here at BBC Cymru Wales, goodbye to analogue television. Digital switchover at the Black Hill Transmitter Group will start tonight, meaning that viewers in Glasgow, Central Scotland and parts of Edinburgh will be losing BBC Two Scotland on analogue permanently, with interruptions for BBC One Scotland and BBC Two Scotland on both analogue and freeview overnight. By 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, BBC One and BBC Two Scotland will be available again to most viewers through Freeview. But if you'll, you'll need to retune your digital box or TV in order to pick it up. Viewers elsewhere in Scotland or who are watching on cable or satellite will not be affected. To find out more about the switch to digital in your area or for any further help, you can contact Digital UK after 8am on 08456... 50 50 50 or visit digital u digital uk dot co dot uk that's it for tonight here in bbc2 scotland where it's time to join the bbc news channel um yeah it is uh, any time Now some important transmitter information. Digital switchover at the Black Hill Transmitter Group is completed tonight, meaning that viewers in Glasgow, Central Scotland and parts of Edinburgh will be losing BBC One Scotland on analogue permanently, with interruptions for BBC One Scotland on Freeview overnight. By 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, BBC One Scotland will be available again to most viewers through Freeview, but you'll need to retune your digital box or TV in order to pick it up. Viewers elsewhere in Scotland, or who are watching on cable or satellite, will not be affected. And incidentally, this marks the final switch-off of analogue television for the whole of Scotland. For any further help, you can contact Digital UK after 8am on 08456 50 50 50 or visit digitaluk.co.uk. I hope you've got your passports with you, because we're off to... changes ahead. Keep up to date with those changes as ever by going online. That's it from me. Good night. Listen to this. Oh, yes. Here we go! Do you think we look a bit... Manly? No. Brave? No, the opposite of those things. This is a good town car. There are actually people watching as well. What do they expect? For viewers in the West Midlands and Yorkshire, that was the last program on BBC Two on analogue television. From tomorrow morning, BBC Two will be digital only in these areas. Services will be off air tonight whilst the final engineering works are carried out. From 6am tomorrow, you may need to retune your preview television or box to continue watching BBC Two. What makes a house home to a...
them. Please welcome up. So how do you get involved? It couldn't be easier. It's a prize draw, so all you have to do is deposit £20 into your account. You play that for real on the table here or any other game that you like the look of at Jackpot 24-7. And then we will give you entry into the competition. As you can see, closing date is 4 a.m. on Tuesday. So we're going to randomly select one of you to come through. Oh. It is my destiny. I've ruined the lives of people I care about. Original British drama. This autumn on BBC One. Now, if you live in Yorkshire or the West Midlands, here's some important information. Digital switchover is now complete, and that means no more analogue TV. And also tonight, digital services will actually be off air too after midnight. Everything will be back to normal by breakfast at 6 in the morning, though. So to confirm again, that's just for viewers in Yorkshire and the West Midlands. Right now on BBC One, tonight's film, Drama in the Courtroom for Anthony Hopkins and Morgan Freeman in Amistad. To keep me safe. I need you to tell me how you got here. And that was the final programme to be broadcast on Analog BBC Two in London. Engineers were about to switch off what was Europe's first regular colour television service when switched over from black and white in 1967. From now, BBC Two in London will be available only on digital. So for London's analogue viewers, you've been watching BBC Two. The Criminal Britain season continues tomorrow at 9 on BBC Three with Mugged. Catch up with other... Next time on The Estate. It's band practice, not drink. So you can let it out there if you want, but you bring it on there, I know what'll happen now. It's going on the sink. Lock, lock, lock. Oh. not bad at flipping. Yeah. Practice at the weekend. <laughs> and the skin whistle. <laughs> that barn has really brought Kyle out of his depression. This is my rip. Look at that. It's pretty cool, isn't it? And now the end of an era. After more than 75 years, BBC television will cease broadcasting to London on analogue. The BBC's Director General Mark Thompson is standing by to switch off the Crystal Palace transmitter. From that moment, all television in London will be digital only. So, one last time, from the capital's analogue viewers, this is BBC One.
next week, we tell the story of Camberwell Grove, how the street was built for the middle classes in Georgian times. When it was built, it was almost like an object landed in space in the farmland itself. How it was engulfed by the Victorian city of London, and how, as period houses were being demolished all over the city, the fight began to protect the world. To discover more about Britain's secret streets, the Open University has produced a free guidebook. Go to bbc.co.uk slash ourstreets and follow the links to the Open University or call 0845 366 0251. The secret history of our streets continues tomorrow at nine here on BBC Two. Charlie M was such a resounding success that it's now touring the country, starting in Birmingham on July the 19th. And the film version of the final play can be seen on the free digital art service at thespace.org from tonight. For more details, go to the BBC Imagine website. Details. This is BBC Two Northern Ireland, where programmes will continue in just a minute, unless you're watching on analogue television, that is. Yes, Northern Ireland's digital switchover starts here. Shortly, we'll be turning off this analogue channel forever and overnight turning on some of the new high-par freeview transmitters. This will mean that there'll be disruption to all BBC services on freeview through the night. Analogue BBC One Northern Ireland will also be off air in some areas. All remaining analogue television will cease transmission in two weeks' time. If you or someone you know needs help or advice in switching to digital or with retuning, you can contact Digital UK on 08456 50 50 50 from 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Or you can visit the website at digitaluk.co.uk. So now, analogue viewers should switch to their digital services to continue watching BBC Two Northern Ireland. If you're viewing on cable or satellite, you don't need to do anything. However, if you're watching on Freeview, you may need to retune your equipment tomorrow and again when digital switchover completes on the 24th of this month. After 48 and a half years, this is where BBC Two says goodbye to analogue television. After 48 and a half years, this is where BBC Two says goodbye to analog television. Digital BBC Two Northern Ireland and there's plenty to sing about in half an hour with Gareth Malone and the choir. But who was hitting the right note today at the Conservative Party conference? Let's find out now from James Landale. Good evening and welcome back to... Analog 
BBC One Lord Ireland will also be on air in the summer. All remaining analog television will cease transmission in two weeks time. If you or someone you know needs help or advice in switching to digital or with retuning, you can contact Digital UK on 08456 50 50 50 for the gift shop to own. And you can visit the website at digitaluk.com. So now I have not viewers to switch to their digital services to continue watching BBC2 or If you're viewing on cable or satellite, you don't need to do anything. And you'll be watching on free view and then to reach you with tomorrow and then the digital switch over completes on the 24th of this month. After 48 and a half years, this is where BBC2 says goodbye to Advent. <laughs> that was it. It worked. <laughs>fully zipped up we're off into the digital dawn from tomorrow we'll also have bbc one northern ireland hd but for tonight getting back to business it's time to join the golden oldies